everybody! Hey, it's HJ, and if this is your first time watching any of my videos, what's up? My name's Hillary Jane. I make encouraging vlogs like this one that I post on Tuesdays, even though this one's gonna come out on Thursday because I was super sick this week. And then I just make fun life vlogs, any shenanigans going on in my life, and I post those on Friday, so I do post twice a week. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, if you saw my post on Instagram, this post to be exact, then you probably know a bit about what this vlog is about already. If you haven't noticed, I haven't put out music in a long time. Like a long time. You're probably like, HJ, why the heck don't you have any new music for us? Hmm? You're supposed to be a singer. Where's your songs? And I'm just over here like, calm down. I'm doing the best I can, but technically I can't make you any music right now. Sometimes I sit back and I reminisce on the old days. And I'm just like, those were some good old days. Y'all ready? Come on, let's go. And sometimes I can feel super useless. And I can sit on the couch and I can cry about not putting out any new music, be upset about the things I have been working on that I'm not allowed to release. And I can feel really down about it. And I'm pretty sure that everybody can relate to that in their life. Whether or not you're a singer, you can look around and you can see either where you were compared to where you're not today or where everybody else seems to be in their life and where you're not. Wow, they're really making a difference. They're really doing something. They're really somebody. And I'm just a nobody. And I am here to tell you I know how that feels. I'm not special, quote, quote. I'm not rocking stages at this moment in my life. I'm not out there doing it. But then I thought to myself, wait a second. Since when does doing it, making it, since what does that make you somebody? Because according to the world, maybe that makes you somebody, but I don't live with my standards according to the world. I live by Christ's standards. And if we look in the Bible, who do we see that Jesus calls to be his disciples? Are they the most amazing rabbis in the town? Are they the people that are in the streets on every corner like singing and performing? Are they the most renowned people in the town? Are they the most well-liked people? Would they be the people of this day and age that had the big numbers on Facebook and all the likes on Instagram? Because that's what we compare being somebody to, but that's not what Jesus compared being somebody to. He went down to the sea and he picked some dirty old fish smelling fishermen, right? To say, come follow me, come be my disciples. Whenever I leave and I ascend into heaven, these are gonna be the people that carry on my legacy and build the church and continue to um, share the faith and share the truth and encourage others. He didn't care about who they were to society. He didn't care about how big or how small they were or how much they were making it or how much they were doing it. All he cared was, are these people going to love me and are these people going to be faithful? That is all God cares about. When he looks at you, he doesn't care if you're fat, if you're skinny, if you're uh, ugly, if you're pretty compared to the world, compared to the world, if you're somebody, if you're nobody compared to the world, if you're doing it, if you're not doing it compared to the world. He says, will this person love me? Will this person serve me faithfully? And will this person be a good representation of my love for them towards the world? And that's all God cares about. He picked the most nobodies that you could possibly pick. Let me encourage you with this. At times, if we're in our flesh and we are not walking by the Spirit, we're not being renewed by God's Word, and we are just self-focused and selfish, we can look at our lives and we can look at other people's lives and we can compare. And you won't feel any satisfaction with your life until you're somebody until you made it. What are the gifts and the skills that God has called you to? And for some people, that's just, you're gonna be a great wife, you're gonna be a great mom, you're gonna raise children in the Lord, you're gonna pray with and for everybody in your church, you're gonna disciple people, you're going to serve your church faithfully, and you're going to serve your community for Christ around you. And that may be all you ever do, but until you see that as something in being somebody, you will hate your life and you will never be content. You will always be looking through the window of Instagram or the window of Facebook or the window of YouTube saying, I wanna be that, I wish I could do that, I wish that was my gift or my calling or my ordained path in life. And it's kinda of like saying, God, you don't know what you're doing. You did the right thing for these people, but you didn't do the right thing for my life. And you may just be 
somebody who works at the post office for the rest of your life or maybe you're somebody who's going to cure cancer like everybody has their own role but every Christian's gonna hear the exact same words good job well done my faithful servant and that means you're somebody you're somebody because you're saved and you have the blood of Jesus covering you and in God's eyes you're perfect and that makes you somebody because Jesus makes you somebody and that's it that's all it takes to be a somebody be saved love Jesus live your life for Jesus and that's it so I just want to encourage you, if you are a person that is making an idol out of other people's callings, that can be idolatry and that can be sin. And I do beckon you to like put that sin far from you. Ask God to help you be content and to help find joy in the everyday little trivial things that you do in your life to serve Christ. And he'll do that for you. He wants you to be content because the more you're content with your life, the more focused on him and his goals that he has for you to meet and the more you'll reach those goals for him. All right. All right, my name's HJ. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have anything to add, maybe something you thought I missed or maybe something you don't agree with, let's talk about it in the comments down below. Make sure to put your comment down there. And please guys, please, please, please share this video on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram because the number one ways that videos grow and people's channels grow is people sharing it with their friends and family and that would just help me out so much. I really want to encourage as many people as I can and I need your help to do that. So make sure to give this video a share and any other video that you've liked for me. All right.